today I'm going to show you how to install a slide topper on your travel trailer. We camp a lot on the west coast and there's a lot of trees and it's a hassle to get up there and have to clean that off every time we camp. So I'm going to add a slide topper by Solera from Lipper Components onto my slide out. The first step, you have to measure your slide out from edge to edge and then you can follow the online guide, but it's very important that you take an exact measurement from the outside edge to the outside edge of your slide out to find the right topper for you. Let's get started. Okay, so I've laid out all the tools you're gonna need to get this all put together. You're gonna need the tape, the sealant tape for the track. You're gonna put this underneath the track that you're attaching to the coach and I'll give you a link to that. You're gonna need a screwdriver uh, for several different reasons. You're gonna need the square bit that's used for the main screws, and then you're gonna need um, two driver bits, um, a 5 16 for some of the screws, and then a one quarter inch for some of the other screws. I've separated them out here in these little bins to keep everything organized. Um, and these are the mounting plates, five screws each. Everything's self-tapping, um, but you do need di different drivers for each screw. That's why I've got the assortment of drivers here. And this is a star driver right here for the Allen screws that hold this plate to this plate. And that's everything you need to get the coach put together. You're gonna need a couple ladders, six footers to reach everything. Other than that, it's very simple. Oh, and don't forget the, the scissors to cut the insulation tape. Okay, so the first thing it says is to measure where you're gonna put the track. I slid the slide out, out just a little bit so I have a little bit of a lip to work with, but you're gonna want your track that attaches to the coach to be a minimum of three inches from the top of your slide out. Now, I measured this and from looking, I can get right here on this crease, right here that's on the body and I'll be just about four inches from the top of the slider, which would give me a nice little ramp down for the rain. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get everything prepped and I'm gonna use this line as a level and attach that to the coach. My first step is gonna be to take this and attach it onto the rail as the insulation to seal everything up. So I'm gonna take and do that first for the whole length and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is I got the strip up here, I got it lined up, and now I'm pulling the paperwork off the back of the strip so we can get that all ready to go to stick up on the wall. Okay, so I'm gonna put a screw in on each side first to get it started, and then I'll make sure it's level everywhere. Okay, you just want to do this all the way down. Do not skip any holes. You got to do every hole. Okay, so now that we've got the rail on, that part, part of it's completed, it's all sealed up and ready to go. Next step is putting the plates on. 
Those are going to go right up here in the corner and get lined up right there. Okay, I already assembled the rod on the other side and now I'm going to put it together over here so you see what you're doing. It's got a screw hole right there, you're lining it up in there. And then it's got an end pin that's got a little recess in there, you want to line that up with it as well. And just make sure it's all in there. And then you've got a screw, a set screw that's going to set that all in place. This is your receiver arm to go in your receiver. Okay, so now everything's up there. I'm gonna take all the set screws. I've got four set screws on the receivers to put in, and then one on each side of the fabric on the rail that holds everything in place. And then I'll show you the thing in operation. But we're basically done. Set screws, and we're done. All right, 
right, once you got everything installed, the last thing you're going to do is remove the tension clips so that it tightens up the tension on the fabric. There, tension's on the fabric, it's ready to use. Okay, and that's the video. I hope you saw all the steps necessary to install your slide out topper. It's not that difficult to do. It doesn't take much time. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe and hit like.